Hello and um, thank you for stopping by. This is Lifestyle Genius Versatile. As you know, of course you know what to do. Click the subscribe button. You want to actually do that because more videos will be coming after this. Okay, so um, today I will be doing some yoga practice and I'd love for you to practice with me. Okay, so let's just call this everyday yoga. Okay, so let's get to it. Just um, follow the routine. Normally, you want to start with your meditations when you're done. So you can do guided meditations if you want, or if not, then you just meditate, stay still for as little as five minutes you can. Okay, um, yeah, you could do that for five minutes, and then after your meditation, then you can go right into the practice. So you could actually use guided meditations, and you could just have something playing in your head. That's actually guided meditation. So you can send your mind somewhere if you can visualize and meditate on your own then you can do that okay that's just an advice well for me I do my guided meditation so now let's just get right to um, the yoga practice so I'm going to take off my shoes because I don't think we need any shoes here because I want to feel grounded this practice you want to ensure that you are um, actually you feel the earth Okay, you want to make sure that your feet feels the earth, um, the hands also feels the earth, likewise, alright? So, let's get to it. Shoes gone off, so let's get to it. Now first, we come on all fours, planting your fingers, tucking your toes if you want, or you could just point it out. Coming on all fours, you have your hands under your wrists actually, palms under your shoulder and then remember while doing the practice you are breathing in and out okay and you're doing different you want to check our other videos look for the breathing techniques and then you'll see which one we're referring to as the um, deep breathing exercise so um, basically yeah you might just want to check it out okay so we'll be using deep breaths while doing this and um, yeah so let's get to it so we'll start with the cats to cow pose breathing in so That's a down facing dog. But if your body can't go, if your legs can't go all the way back, you could just arc it and work it a bit so that it adjusts or bring it to a position that can help you ground it. Okay? So, the down facing dog now. Stay steady and feel your breaths. We'll do five breathing now. Come to half plank and then go down 
to cobra, baby cobra, and now full cobra. And then come to child's pose. So basically, the good thing about yoga is it just tones your whole body when you do it. Okay, so we'll go to the next pose, which is the reach pose, okay? So you lay down, your legs coming this way, and then you want to meet your lower body. Try and work your shoulders to come in a bit and then you lift so you can work your hands in now breathe for five counts sun salutations um, and then the sun to earth salutation likewise okay so it's the sun salutation position you have your legs together and you have to look through your thumb if you can you can deepen your stretch so that is the sun salutation position now we'll go to tree pose now this tree pose position Basically, when you do one leg, you have to do the other leg. You don't just, in yoga, whatever you do, you have to do it in pairs. If you can, you could just do this and place it. But because you want to place it properly, do this, have this one minute. Make sure, make sure your other foot is strongly planted. Then, okay, now, the sun salutation. Feel free to move, but try and get, get your gaze in a particular position because when you try to get the gaze away from a certain position, you'll shake. Okay, so for this, I'm going to look right down so that I can stay still. Okay. because of the pressure you might feel okay before you do the next leg so we move on to the next the left leg now so raise it Okay, 
your legs so that you don't feel the tingling feeling, okay? So now we go to the warrior one. So open up your legs. This is how this, if you're working on your right leg, this is how the right leg goes in this one, okay? <clears throat> so this, and then you raise your hands. Now look to your middle finger. Let your gaze go there. So you see how my leg goes, right? So just look to your middle finger and stretch yourself, okay? So while your gaze is there, you just apply pressure. Let it feel as though someone is pulling you. Now stay steady for five counts. Standing. Okay, so starting the song position, hands, the song posture, and then bring it down. And hands on the floor. Then come halfway. So you can have it halfway this way, halfway this way. Bending your gaze. If you want to end your routine, you would you could either do the child pose or the corpse pose. For me, I'm going to do the corpse pose because it just sometimes it just makes me fall asleep for a bit in the process. So this this is the corpse pose position. Okay, so you get to lie, put your hands out to your sides, open up, and then. You can have your eyes closed if you really want to and breathe. Now this time around, just breathe normally. You don't have to do the deep breathing. And there you have it. Um, you could stay in that position for as long as you want. As long, I mean, if you don't have anywhere to be, why not just rest those muscles? So that's the technique you could do every day. In 10 minutes, you could actually achieve this. And the good thing about yoga is whatever you do, it tones every part of your body, every part. It's not like um, specific exercise routines that will just tone a certain part of your muscles, but yoga tones all parts of your muscles. All right, so I'll be seeing you in other videos. And of course, you know what? Subscribe to this channel. You want to more videos, love me. But for now, it's love and light. Namaste.